Hey there, Riverview. Today is Thursday, September 7th, and we're on a day one schedule. Let's get right into the announcements. Bring your family and friends to Carnivores Night, Tuesday, September 12th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. If this benefits the Riverview Key Club and our local carnivores business, it's $10 per person, unlimited pizza, fries, and drinks. You must bring this flyer for the discount. Attention all seniors. All important information regarding all important dates, senior events, and more will be announced via the Remind app. The class code to enter is 746-A8G. That's 746-A8G. Or you can text this code to 81010 to receive reminder messages. If you have any questions, please see Alexa Orban, Ellie Sebastian, Elena Mazur, or Sadie Swenson, or see the bulletin board by room 216. The Raider golf team lost a, co a close sectional match against undefeated St. Joe's by the score of 236 to 241. The Raiders played well and posted four rounds in the 40s. Sophomores Jack Harden, Jake Soup, and Chase Conley all shot 47. They were closely followed by senior captain Patrick Scott, 48. The Raiders look forward to turning the tables on St. Joe's in our rematch on our home turf at Three Lakes Golf Course on September 27th. The Raiders' record is now two wins and two losses with a tie against Burl to be decided in a playoff on Friday at, on Friday at Saxonburg. The Raiders next play Leechburg at home. The Raider JV has a match against the Shady Side JV this Friday at Saxonburg. If you ever wanted to design your own science experiment, figure out your own computer program or math idea, or create an engineering solution to a problem, then the, then the Pennsylvania Junior Academy of Science is just the thing for you. Our kickoff meeting for PJS will be held in room 205 after school on Tuesday, September 12th. Please plan to attend to find out more about this fun and exciting opportunity. If you cannot be there, please see Mr. Ludwig in room 205 for important information. The junior high cross country team attended their first meet this past Saturday at Boys Park. Lucas Wilton, Amberson Bauer, and Ben Hauer all won awards with their 8th, 18th, and 20th place finishes. The boys had a strong team showing that landed them tied for third place with Plums Middle School, training only the big programs from Norwin and Fox Chapel. Olivia Wilton led the ladies with Sierra Miller and Emerson Carangio, also completing the tough course. We look forward to our next meet at Mount Lebanon. This week, the Lady Raiders volleyball team played in their season opener against Greensburg Central Catholic. The girls played very well against GCC, who was picked to win the section overall. Varsity took GCC to four games, but ended up losing 3-1. to one. In the third set, the girls really found some momentum with quick, quick rallies and outstanding plays made by seniors Ariel Rafferty and Maggie Conti. The team will prove to be a force come mid-September when they have more, more experience. Senior Alita Conroy and freshman Alexis Sykes will be a key part of Riverview's def defensive game as well. As for JV, we have a very young but enthusiastic group of girls. The team is comprised of mostly freshmen, and they are playing very well so far this season. Unfortunately, they couldn't pull out a win against Greensburg and lost 2-0. But there are some young players to watch this season. Katie Zatoski, Emily Petrogallo, and Lisa Novakova all played very well this week. The Raider boys soccer team had their first section game against Carlington High School. The Raiders came out on top with a 5-0 win. Christoph Hudak with two goals, Sean Abraham with one goal, Jacob Sullivan with one goal, and someone else, but we don't really know who scored that one. So. <laughs> Sorry about that one. Uh, on this day in history, in 19, 1813, the United States gets its nickname Uncle Sam. The name is linked to Samuel Wilson, a meat packer from Troy, New York, who supplied barrels of beef to the United States Army during the War of 1812. Sam Wilson stamped the barrels with U.S. for United States, but soldiers began referring to the grub as Uncle Sam's. The local newspaper picked up on the story, and Uncle Sam eventually gained widespread, widespread acceptance as the nickname for the U.S. federal government. That's all your news and announcements overview. I'm Jordan. I'm Garda. And stand for the pledge and have a good one.